is heaven in me. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Because I told you, the palace is where the president lives. So where God lives, it is called heaven. So where is heaven? So stop worshipping on Sunday and start worshipping every day. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Because the day is Christ. The day is a person. Are we together? Amen. So let us just take advantage of Sunday because it is a day that the government has set aside as a, an unworking day, not a holiday, but a weekend for people to mingle with the family. So in that advantage, we can also mingle together as a family of Christ, but it cannot hinder us from all other days because we have come to a point of understanding. The day is not Monday, it's not Tuesday, it's not Wednesday, not Thursday, not Friday, not Saturday, not Sunday. Hallelujah. The day is a person. Hallelujah. You know, many people began to worship on Sunday because Jesus resurrected on the first day of the week. But that is not even a, a reason for Sunday to be superior than Saturday. The superior day is Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ is the superior day. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with spiritual blessings in heavenlies in Christ. Are we together? So the blessings are in a person. So that is what Genesis is telling us. And the Lord blessed the day, the seventh day. Because that day was a person. So when he comes on the cross after dying, now we find all authority in heaven, on earth, and under the earth have been given him. Those are the blessings. Hallelujah. Those are the blessings. The power to dominate, to reign, are now on Christ. And then the Christ did not remain with the powers. Hallelujah. He decided to give us the powers. He gave us the powers and he says, Go ye in the one and preach the gospel. Hallelujah. So the blessings are in us. So stop telling God, please bless me. We are blessed in Christ. Anybody who is outside Christ, they are not blessed. And blessings are not material things. Don't look at people, they own vehicles and you think that is riches. That is not riches. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It could be material prosperity, but the real blessings is having Christ. Amen. That is where the blessings are. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise in Jesus. I want us to read John chapter 9 verse 4 to verse 5. John chapter 9 verse 4 and verse 5. But before that, let us read Psalms 18. 118 to manage the last part, verse 27. God is the Lord and he has given us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. 118. You need to record my verse 27. 118. Verse 27. Can we read? God is the Lord which should us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords even unto the horns of the altar. So we understand what is the horn. Because we learned about this. Hallelujah. What is the horn? We understand. Hallelujah. You know, in churches today, you will see people, when they go to anoint people, in fact, they are very foolish. Because when they go to anoint people, when they go to anoint people, when they go to anoint people, and then they go to anoint people, and then they So they believe. Even this one, even in the, in, 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 in the law and prophets, and even the Old Testament. Hallelujah. Those people who were anointed using the horn, it was a horn of the ram. Kondo wa kiuma na ito ram. It ilikwaya ram. Are we together? It was ram. Let us just use one. It was one. So how, how do we understand that it was one? I told you when you read Genesis chapter 22, you will understand more. Hallelujah. Now, let us read. God is the Lord which hath should us light be by the sacrifice so that light which is Christ a person now has to be killed on the cross for salvation because that is the real work. After death, after resurrection, it is the finished work. Bind the sacrifice with cords even unto the horns of the altar. So, this tells you the last altar on earth was the altar of the cross. 
What is this person? People value these things. And then they call it altar. Let me tell you. This is not an altar. This is just a pulpit. Are we together? But the altar has been migrated from physical to the spiritual dimensions. So you are the altar of God. When is this person? You are the altar of God because God is not now staying here on this cement. God is staying where? The meaning of the word altar is because an altar is a place where God lives and it's a place of sacrifice. Hallelujah. So the last altar on earth physically is the cross. Are we together? Is the cross. So I should not tell you Junganisha na Madabao. Hallelujah. Because where went your mother bow? Listen to me. In Romans 12, it says, Offer your bodies living sacrifice to God. For that is the spiritual act. That is, it pleases God. Give me uh, Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12. Let's just begin from verse 1. So you become the altar. Because you are the headquarter of worship. Why are you the headquarter of worship? You are the headquarter of worship because God has shifted worship from the days to a person. Hallelujah. So the day is a person. Are we together? And the worshiper is a person. So these two people meet in one. Abide in me and I will abide in you. Hallelujah. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your, your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So, this is the true worship. Hallelujah. This is the true worship. If this was not the true worship, if the real worship, if the real worship was coming on this place, and then we say, now we have worship in the spirit. Then only the worship ministers who come here to lead us in worship will always be qualified to have offered the true worship. And a person who remains Numa Karukuna speaker Zile Kule Numa will not have entered the, the holy place because they were behind. Are we together? But because God has shifted, let me tell you, you know, we can come out of this church today. And then other people come later with the disco and they bring it here and, and everything just goes as usual. Yes. Are you aware of that? Yes. Hallelujah. Are you aware of that? Yes. Are you aware of that? Yes. Now, other side to break up a wing or two. To break up a wing. Ah, here. So, you here. So, is it a time or is because this is just a platform but you are the altar hallelujah but in you sexual sin cannot be found sin cannot be found idolatry cannot be found because when you became an altar it suspended anything that does not agree with Christ Christ cannot live in a, a dead place when it was because of it will not defend itself. Hallelujah. So this becomes a, a platform. We just preach the gospel. Hallelujah. So this is a pulpit. But you are the altar. Now, if you are the altar of God, it means that the service takes place from within you. So you should not be reminded in Omikono. Because you are the, the headquarter of worship. Hallelujah. Because you are the headquarter of worship, you are taught to worship by God. And the Holy Spirit in you is teaching you how to go dimensions. Hallelujah. He's taking you to dimensions. But because you don't want to be an altar, you remain dry. When it was few. Let us read John chapter 9, verse 4 to 5. The day. I must work the words of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh 
when no one when no man can wow. read again i must work on the works of israel. sorry sorry can we read again i must work the works of him that sent me while it is day the night coming when no man can work so we cannot work in the night hallelujah because man cannot work in the night in other words you cannot make it in the night in darkness hallelujah in darkness you cannot have a fellowship with satan the darkness and expect that it will bring forth the fruit of christ hallelujah because darkness there we are i'm a night there we are talking about the enemy hallelujah now that's why he says and if god said let there be light in other words i will become light in them and once i enter them darkness will disappear the presence of satan in you is because god is not there but the presence of the light is automatic end of darkness in a man or in a place oh, yeah. Vanessa's first oh, yeah. there is darkness in a place because there is no light but when light has been sh when when the light shines definitely uh, darkness disappears hallelujah you don't need to pray for darkness to disappear you don't need to fast for darkness to disappear you only need light and the presence of light is the absence of darkness hallelujah that's what you need you only need light and what is that light he was light and that light was the light of the world christ is our light next verse verse five <coughs> as long as i am in the world i am the light so who is the light so the light is a person the light is not not these parts are we together not these parts Christ is the light. Let us read John 1 verse 4 and 5. John 1 verse 4 and 5. We can begin from verse 3. Oh. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. Uh -huh. In him was life and the life was the light of men. The life was the light of men. Verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not yani let me tell you even when we preach the light because christ is the light and you are still in darkness he's saying the darkness cannot comprehend light are we together i'm somebody hallelujah when when the lord is speaking the dimensions the darkness is not understanding in fact the darkness is wondering what are they talking about the darkness is trying to connect, but connection is normal. Tell your neighbor, may you enjoy the light of Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Let us read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 1 to verse 8. First Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 1 to verse 8. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Mm -hmm. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So a thief works in the night because the thief is Satan. And Satan is always hooked up to darkness. So that's why he operates in darkness. Okay. The reason why people think when Jesus say keshena kuomba ni sababu na kesha usiku anaposema keshena kuomba sio sababu na ndange baada za usiku we are going to night keshas because that is a conducive time we can meet for proper learning and prayer but if we can do it during the day we, there's no problem hallelujah keshena kuomba there is say let us be alert and sober are we together let us be sober and alert that we are ready and we understand every move of the spirit hallelujah but if you can be all available during the day there is no problem for us to have to spend time here from morning to evening learning worshiping and praying are we together 
So for yourself not perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Next verse. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as traveling upon woman with child that they shall not escape. Next verse. But ye, brothers, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. So listen to this. Which is overtaking them? The day. Meaning the day must be a person. How can the day overtake? Hallelujah. Are, are you getting somebody? But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Uh -huh, next verse. You are all the children of light and the children of the so the day is the person. That's why we are the children of the day. Hallelujah. So somebody, tell somebody, I turn on a Monday, I turn on a Tuesday, I turn on a Wednesday, I turn on a Thursday, I turn on a Friday, I turn on a Sunday. Christ is our day. Hallelujah. Christ is our day. You are the children of the day. We are not the children of the night. You are all the children of the light because light is a person and the children of the day because day is a person. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Meaning darkness and night is also a person. Amen. It's also a person. The suburb of Kanunta Tanadambi will not have Tao Sip. Saya am done and a genuine tremendous with you in the end. Just to, to, to finish a program. <laughs> Praise King Jesus. You are the children of the light. You are the children of the day. We are not of the night. Nor of darkness. Next verse. So we belong to the day. Because the day is a person. Therefore let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. That is now vocation and woman. Hallelujah. and Kumba means being watchful and with sober mind. I'm a sobriety. Hallelujah. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. So let us not be the last waiting on a specific day to worship. Let us be watchful. Let us be sober enough, available for fellowship with Christ. Next verse. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. Mm -hmm. But let us who are of the day. Is somebody of the day? Yes. Are we of the day? Yes. Uh, let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Hallelujah. We need to enjoy salvation because we belong to the day. And the day is not Sunday. The day is a person. And that person is called Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise him, Jesus. That is where we belong. That is where we belong. Hallelujah. So when we pray, let us pray by revelation. When we worship, let us worship by revelation. When is us present. This is the day. The day that the Lord has made, and the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. Okiona, unashindo kumbwa yuko. Yule tu na shumbwa zai. Jo sana yuko na patikano. Na ndo sababu lete ni watoto kwa wajui yuko. Are you sure the creator of the world are for them? Are you? Was as a amulet or toto for land? Hallelujah! This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. We should rejoice. We should rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day, and the Lord has made. 
So the day is Christ. So now we are rejoicing in the Lord. Christ is the day. Christ is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we rejoice in the Lord Jesus. I don't know. Hallelujah. So Christ is the day and now we rejoice in him. Rejoice in the Lord. Again I say rejoice. Praise the Lord. So you need to understand. So when you see the day, the day, the day in the Bible, don't just conclude, should we, should we, because people are still waiting. When will Christ come? Will he come on Monday? Others are asking, will he come on Tuesday? Now, we have known Christ is there. Okay. Now, what remains to understand? When will he come? Now that he is the day. So don't think Christ is depending on days, Monday to turn. When you Monday, you have to go to Thursday. Hallelujah. It's all like that. So when I serve God, let me have a fellowship with Him owing to the fact that it's not about the day. Hallelujah. How many of you take time to learn, to study the Word, to pray, even during the weekdays? Don't honor a Sunday. Begin to honor a person. Because that person is your day. Christ is the day. Shall we stand up in the name of the Lord? Father, we thank you. Just stand up in the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We glorify you because of your greatness, because of your goodness. Thank you, Lord, because we have come to understand that you are the day. You are the day that uh, David was explaining and talking about. You are the day that was made for us. And so now we are coming from shadows. We are coming from, 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 from figures of speech and to a realization that Christ is our day. A holy day. A day consecrated. Christ is our Sabbath day. He says, come to me and you will find rest. Father, we come to realize that's why Jesus could heal people on Sabbath day because it was not a day. He himself was a day of rest for the people. And so Lord, we declare that we may rest in you. We may rest physically, spiritually, socially, physically, economically, and across every encounter of our lives. Become our day that we may worship you in and out of season in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. We shall not depend on seasons to worship you. We shall not depend on days to worship you. We are not going to depend on circumstances to worship you. You have become our day. And Lord, we worship you. Having become our day, you are our Alpha Omega. A day that can never end. A day that has no beginning. A day that has not the end. So our service too shall not have the beginning, neither shall it have the end. We are going to serve you totally in the splendor of your character and nature. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. We glorify you because you are good. In Jesus' name, we praise Him and pray. Amen. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Celebrate Him more. Celebrate Him more. In Jesus' name.